Well, thank you very much, and uh, it's wonderful to be here at the O2. And, and I, I think you feel the same way. It's, it's a wonderful experience for us to do this tour with Cliff, and it takes us back right through those years to when we were 16, 17, when we first started. And we're going to play a lot of music from those early days. We'd like now, though, to uh, just spend a couple of minutes and introduce you to the rest of the guys on the stage. And perhaps, Bruce, you could uh, take over at that point, because I'm tired. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How are you doing up there? We're having a fantastic time so far. It's going to be great tonight. I can feel it in my bones. I'd like to introduce you to a man who goes to the same hair colorist as I do. Would you please welcome Mark Griffiths on the bass guitar. The Silver Foxes. <laughs> on keyboards, guitars, percussion, harmonica, accordion, Warren Bennett. I'd like to tell you a little story about the next tune. When we recorded this next piece of music written by the late Jerry Lorden, we really felt we had something special. And we recorded it, but weren't happy with the outcome because we felt we hadn't reached the full potential of the piece. So, Norrie Paramore, our record producer, suggested that while we were away on tour, he might think of something that could enhance what we'd already done on the record. When we got back from tour, he played us what we'd done, and we were just blown away. He'd added French horns and a small string orchestra. And now we felt this beautiful tune, this majestic tune, had reached its full potential. And we'd like to play it for you tonight. It's a wonderful land. <laughs> 